let's talk about two pumps. I had this request from the Facebook group. We have the Baby Buddha that's charging here, sorry, and the Medela Freestyle Flex. So let's run through those two pumps and see how they compare. Okay, so first of all, I really like both of these pumps. I think the Baby Buddha is a little bit cheaper, if I remember right. There's also a coupon code for that in the link in my bio. Freestyle Flex, I see a lot often covered by insurance companies, which is cool. So there's also some links there you can check and see if some insurance companies will cover this one for you. And I really like both of these. So let's start with the Baby Buddha. Let's see if it's charged enough to run. No, okay, let's start with the Freestyle Flex. <laughs> so these are a very similar size. So you can see here, the Freestyle Flex is slightly bigger, but they're very similar. Um, very similar weight as well. Again, the Freestyle Flex may be just a titch heavier, but nothing of note. The, this one does have a little hook like this, although I wish it was a lanyard. I don't think I could, no, I can't get that over my head. So that's kind of annoying because I do like to hang this baby Buddha. It has a lanyard down around my neck and then you can be hands free basically, but yeah, I don't know. that's kind of annoying. Actually, you could probably make that work if you wanted to um, put something new on. Okay, this pump is really nice and I like it for a few reasons. It feels really nice to use. Um, which I know may not matter to you, but I really like it. So it's a fully, it's all touch screen here. So it starts in stimulation mode here. Probably can't see that. Ooh. It's not that loud when you're using it. I don't have anything plugged in. That's closer to what it sounds like. So just ignore that crazy sound sound. So you actually have 10 suction levels, nine, excuse me, in stimulation mode, which is a lot. So you kind of can adjust the suction level in stimulation mode as much as you need. And then you can switch over to expression, which is a slower cycle speed per minute. And this pump does go quite a bit lower in suction than the Baby Buddha does. Um, the max suction is a little bit less though. Let me tell you what it is. Mm, in the round 250 for the max suction, which is still pretty good. Um, I don't have any problems with that for max suction. This also does go really low, which I like a lot. So the Baby Buddha doesn't go very low on the minimum and that's important for a few reasons you can watch a video on youtube of all about suction and i talk specifically about the baby buddha there's a timestamp, and you can learn about that section and why that matters this one does go very low um it's almost silent when you're using the low section on expression mode you can go up to level nine again significant this pump is vibrating quite a bit. So on a table, oh, it's actually not too bad. And I think that's because this thing is like, it's soft, not soft, but how do I explain that? It's not like a hard plastic. It's kind of rubber coated. There you go. Rubber coated. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, so on actually on the table, it's not, it's not too loud. So that's cool. The charge is great on this one. And again, it's just easy to use. It does have some like specific parts. My Dell is kind of going towards this new system lately. So here's what the tubing adapter looks like. Again, though, you can pull, I think you can pull it off. <laughs> I tell you that and now I can't get it off. You might have to cut that off, seriously. Anyway, but it's just your standard tubing, so if you wanted to use this with the cups, you could just take that off. 
Um, it does come with nice sizes of phalanges. So this is a 21. I think it might have come with that. It's closer to what the size that I use. And you can take them off. So if you're using a pumping bra, you can put that on then through the hole and then this. So that's nice that it's not all one piece. A little more flexible for you. This is a closed system pump. It doesn't have the duckbill phalange. Medela came out with this new style where the backflow protector also has the little flange piece on there, which actually I think is pretty cool. So it is a closed system pump, although you don't have that big old um, like backflow protector like that that you see on a lot of ones. So it is a little bit more discreet while you're pumping. Anyway, I really like the Freestyle Flex, so no problems. This is probably one of my favorite pumps from Medela currently on the market. And then we have the baby Buddha that is still not charged enough to turn on. <laughs> so sorry about that. But this is a great, very simple, very light pump. You've only got two buttons. You've got a roller, a roller disc here, and you can also press it in. So all you do is turn it on. Again, the, the minimum level is quite high still. So if you're sensitive at all, or you like to pump on lower settings, beware. Um, otherwise, this is great, gives a lot of suction. And when you double pump, I haven't released this video yet on double pumping versus single pumping, but when you double pump with the Baby Buddha, it maintains a lot of the suction, much more than many other pumps. So if you plan on double pumping, this one can hold up with the two very nicely. You get a few suction levels on stimulation mode and then the kind of the standard 10 on expression mode. You cannot adjust the cycle speed at all though. Actually, I don't think you can on this one either. So, yeah, you can. So, and that's that's common on small, on small pumps is that you don't really adjust the cycle speed, just the suction or the vacuum level, okay? so. Again, a very simple, easy to use pump. I really like this one a lot, and I think it is a little bit cheaper than the Freestyle Flex. Again, there's a coupon code in my bio for the Baby Buddha just to save you some money, so that's awesome. Um, and you can find this on my Amazon store front, and I always post um, coupons or discounts that I find here on Instagram stories or in our little Facebook group, so go join over there if you want. If you have more questions about these two pumps, put them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. See you guys later.